Hello, in this video we will go over the Mixer window. The Mixer window is the Animation Layer Manager. Akitsu works natively within animation layers and these animation layers can also be called stackers. So the Mixer will display different animation layers or stackers of your currently selected animation, which right now is my jump underscore good. A stacker or animation layer is a selection set of keyframeable controllers and the controllers available in Akitsu are joints, IK controllers, and reverse foot controllers. When you select a stacker in the mixer, you can see all of the controls that belong to that stacker. all its keyframes in the stacker window. They are also displayed here in the time bar. You can see that if I select my root stacker, then that part of the time bar is highlighted and my all is highlighted if I select it. Here in the picker, you can use your up and down arrows to quickly select any controllers and up here you have some quick select control buttons. All the activated channels in the transform window also display when you select your stacker. You can see that in all I have foot L selected and so this small key displays on the available channels. If I select my root stacker, then all of that is disabled because I don't have anything in my picker from that stacker selected. The stacker or animation layer keyframing rules are that keys are synchronized on each controller of a stacker. So if you have a stacker selected and you decide to either delete move or modify any of the keyframes in any way, then it won't only do it for the selected controller, but for all of the controllers in the selected stacker. Now let's go over the different icons and commands displayed near a layer or stacker. Here we have these eyes and this eye icon is the visibility icon. So this will disable or enable the animation of a selected stacker. Here we have the stacker name. And here we have the stacker opacity. You can move your slider to change the opacity from the animation in that stacker. For the moment, the blending mode we support is the override mode. We also have the stacker edit mode, uh, which works by clicking on the small hammer next to your stacker name. And here you enter your edit mode. Here you can select or deselect any of the hammers next to a controller to remove that controller from the selected stacker. Here you can see that any controller that is not in the stacker will display without the small hammer icon. You can also highlight a lot of them and remove the hammer on all of them or add the hammer on all of them at once. So this mode allows you to choose controllers you want in your stacker. Uh, and of course, the hammer next to the controller means that you want that controller to be keyframeable by this stacker. And so once you're done editing your stacker, then you can select the hammer again so that you are no longer editing your stacker. This mode also allows you to choose the specific channels that you want in any selected controller in your transform. So you can see now that all of the channels that are available for me for this controller 
are displaying with the small hammer. And so if I wanted to remove any of these channels, then I can hide the hammer or to activate it, display it back on there. There is an important rule, which is that the IK and RF, or reverse foot, control chains must be complete in your stacker, meaning that uh, any IK or reverse foot targets cannot be alone in a stacker without having all of the joints of their chain. So for example, if you remove a joint of a chain, it will automatically remove the respective IK or RF controller. So if I select this joint and remove it, then you can see that my IK is also gone now. It does not, however, remove all of the other joints that are associated with that IK control. So now if I put it back, then I have to get my IK and enable my IK again. Also the IK and RF angle channels in the transform window cannot be unactivated in edit mode. So these channels here for my reverse foot and my IK cannot be disabled. Now let's talk about the features at the bottom. Here we have a create stacker button. It adds a new stacker containing only the selected controllers. So if I select some of my face controllers and click on this button, then a new stacker is created. You can notice that it is created with the ref pose and one keyframe at zero in the timeline. Also, please notice that the created stacker will remain in edit mode. The hammer is on, so I can add or disable any controls that I want to. I can also name my stacker and when done, disable the edit mode. So now I just have these controllers in there. And you can see that those controllers are still in my all stacker. And now they are also in my face stacker. Here we have duplicate stacker. It duplicates the current stacker with all its controllers, keyframes, and color, and the name is incremented. So now I have face 02. It has the same color and the exact same controllers. Here I have merge stacker. It merges the stacker with the one below it. And you can see that it kept the name of the selected stacker, which was this, the one that was on top. And then here we have extract stacker. This allows you to extract the selected controllers and their keyframes from the current stacker. So if I wanted to put my character's body in a separate stacker, I can select them from my all stacker and extract them. And now you can see that it is named after the first selected control. And now if I go into my all stacker, then those controllers are now no longer in my all stack stacker, but in my pelvis stacker instead. And what you can also do is you can control extract to duplicate the stacker elements and still keep those same controls in the stacker that was selected previously. An important thing to remember is that, again, your IKs and RF chains must be complete. So if you select a joint of a chain in order to create a new stacker, to extract or to control extract, it will involve all the joints of the chain plus the target. So if I select one of my IKs and extract this, then you can see that that IK 
and all of the controllers that are associated with that IK are in my extracted stacker. Now here we have delete current stacker. So I can delete any of these stackers. And then here I have move stacker. So you can move it either down or you can move them up. A quick reminder about the animation bank window is that when you create a new animation you get by default a first keyframe in ref pose in your ready to work all stacker. And this all stacker has all of your controllers of your character's hierarchy which then you can change and work with easily through the mixer. And that is our mixer window.